Hey guys, welcome to the Service Now Word, and today we'll see part twenty-four of Service Now Developer Interview Question and Answer series. As you know, in this series, we are discussing about all the theoretical questions which are asked by interviewer during interview. So, without any delay, let's go to the first question. So, the first question is: What is the use of edge encryption, and what are their benefits? So, as per the Service Now docs. Edge encryption is a network encryption system that resides on your network and that encrypts and decrypts sensitive data as it travels between your data center and the ServiceNow cloud. So basically, edge in, edge encryption is a kind of like a network encryption system which will encrypt the data before sending to the uh, to the internet. Okay. And what are their some benefits? So some benefits are there like encrypts sensitive data at the network edge, ensuring data remains secure both in transit at rest. So if you use the edge encryption, what I mean like our data, our sensitive data will be in, in encrypted, and it will get secure whether whether during during transit as well and and during in the instance as well. Okay. Second benefit is that like meets requirements for data res uh, residency and sovereignty by ensuring sensitive data does not leave the customer environment in readable form. So like uh, it it require it, it meets the requirement of red data residency and sovereignty. Like uh, whenever the data is going to travel to the like uh, uh, leaving the uh, service now instance and travel like uh, and going to going from the, going to the internet. Okay. Before that, it's completely encrypted, so it means that like uh, it, it it it's not transit in the human readable format. Okay. Third is that like uh, edge in, edge encryption also works uh, with mobile devices, and fourth one is like it's provide the ability to configure which data gets encrypted with option for field level encryption is there. So like we can we can like encrypt the part of data as well using the field level in, in encryption. Okay. One more thing is that, like uh, maybe, like if interview will ask this question, maybe the next question will be something like, uh, okay, you know the in edge encryption, right? You know the benefits as well. How we can a uh, use the edge uh, edge encryption in service now instance? Okay, so my suggestion is to just to uh, read read about that as well, like how to configure the edge encryption. Okay, like we have the edge encryption plugin is there, we have to install it, and then further more process is there. So you have to aware about that as well. Okay, alone this question might you get stuck in the next question if you prepare about only this this question only. Okay, so let's move to the next question. Next question is that how does the protection policy affects ACLs? So if you know like in ACLs we have the protection policy, right? So it's asking how the product uh, how does the protection policy affects the ACL? So the protection policy controls how an ACL can be modified or deleted. Is it something like putting a tamper-proof seal on a document to prevent unauthorized changes? Okay. Now moving to the next question. Next question is the like how we can enhance instance performance. This is the most common and most important question which I've ever seen. Okay. So like uh, they will casually ask like uh, okay, uh, what are the steps for uh, like uh, what are the steps you have taken for enhancing your service now instance performance? Okay. How we or how we can enhance the service now instance performance? Okay, or is it how we can optimize the service now performance? So I have listed down these few uh, few points are there. Like we can uh, use the efficient uh, filter conditions like active true to improve slow queries. We have to avoid uh, dot walked uh, avoid condition on dot walked fields. Okay, we have to limit the number of columns that you want to see in the list view. And the uh, last one is. Avoid uh, adding general field to the list. So these few are there, and apart from there, more are there. You can search it out. And uh, if you if you want a detailed video on the this question, just let me know in the comment box. So I'll create a separate video on this, like how we can enhance the instance performance, and we'll talk about uh, like uh, all mo most of the what are the possible ways are there and how we can enhance it. Okay. Now we are moving to the next question. Next question is. What is the purpose of get session method? So it's just like a straightforward question. Like they will ask, okay, okay, maybe they will ask about some method. So that is like a that common method they will ask, like what is the use of get session method? So you can tell like 
get session method is used in a server side script in order to return the details about currently logged in user session so there one one more question arise okay they will ask okay get session method will use with which class okay with or which api you can say we can use with the glide system okay get session method we can use with the glide system api okay or they have one uh, uh, with the get session we have one more important method is there that is one is called interactive so you have to just learn about the interactive method as well okay if they rightly if they will ask okay uh, how how we can use it so most of the time we are using like gs dot get session dot interactive means our our session our section uh, whatever the currently logged in user session is there that is currently active or not for that we are using interactive so i haven't listed that method but you have to learn more about that as well alone this question may be not useful okay okay now moving to the next question next question is how we can optimize flow that another it's a very very important question i can say and like as you know like definitely if you are sitting for any of the service now interview they will definitely ask question about the flow like flow flow designer so this one of the uh, most important question is there they will ask like how we can optimize flow so you can tell in the few points like uh, you, we can use the save triggers we can use uh, sub flows for common approvals we can leverage flow designer snippets we can reuse catalog task a uh, few more are there i haven't listed all of them but uh, these four are there but firstly in the like initially you have to tell only the points okay like a, like main bullet point like we have to use the save triggers use sub flows or common approvals leverage flow designer snippets or uh, reuse catalog tasks maybe whenever uh, when you're going to tell those bullet points maybe they will ask any one of them okay you are saying uh, you can we can use the save triggers what is the what, what is the meaning of that so you can say it like we can create a reusable triggers once and uh, apply them across multiple flows like that you have to just read about their like uh, in detail as well so if they will ask a, a explanation what is the meaning of that so let's say like they will ask like uh, uh, leverage uh, flow designer snippets what is the meaning of that so you can say like we can create a uh, we can create a reusable snippets for the common task or action that are shared across multiple flows and this promotes consistency and simplifies updates so like that is there firstly initially you have to just uh, tell the only the bullet points but if they'll ask about this explanation about the particular bullet point uh, you can you, you you can explain in the detail okay now we are moving to the next question next question is that what happens if there's no acl for a specific operation that is a kind i can't say like it's a important but it's a common question okay so you can say like uh, if there is no acl it means uh, service now denies uh, access by default it is like uh, it is like a door without a keyhole and you can't enter unless someone creates a way in okay so simple is that like if if there is no uh, acl for a specific oper operation it means like it a uh, service now deny access by de by by default for that operation okay now we are moving to the next question so in the last video i have uh, asked about like how you pass data between flow activities so the answer is we can use the flow variables and scratch pad are used to share data between uh, activities in flow and today's video's question is what is put and patch http method so if you know the answer please write in the comment box and i'll give the answer in the next video till that time thank you god bless you all